So you like building Tamiya kits? Well, you really should think about getting one of these. Hi there, Mark here again. Got Rob on the camera. Hiya. And today is happy day. It is. Because I've got a new kit. Woohoo! Look at this. And uh, yeah, this isn't your standard Tamiya Fair TTO2. This is the TA02S, which is the short wheelbase. And that's because this is a replica of the Lancia 037 WRC rally car, which had rather a long bonnet, didn't it? Or a long did. nose to it. I don't think, I think that's the only picture we've got of it here. But yeah, so basically the wheelbase is quite short. So they've had to put it on a shorter chassis. And I don't know of any other TA02S model that's around. No. Um, there's only a few other TA02s. I got one back, I don't know, in the, the 90s, I think, Rob. Yeah. Uh, but this kit was first released in 2018, I think I read. You did. I think wrong, but web. I think it said 2018 it first came out. And this has been re-released, uh, the latest one in 2022. Um, and the model number, Rob, I've got written down, is 58654, which is the same as the original release, so they haven't changed it. No. So then, a bit about the 037. As I said, it was brought out in 1982, World Rally Car, two litre, Turbo, I think it's 300 horsepower. It was crazy fast. Rear wheel drive, and Tamiya have put it on a four wheel drive chassis as they, as they, they do. Oh, um, yes. So well forgiven for that. Um, so, yeah, and it was blooming quick, this thing was. It won the World Championship and it beat other four wheel drive cars, I think. I think it was the last rally car to actually win as a real wheel drive, Rob. Yeah. As opposed to the four wheel, and the four wheel drive came along and that was it. So I think they banned Group B in the end anyway. They did. So there's a little bit of the background. Shall we get it unboxed and see what this fantastic TAO2 chassis looks like? Oh, I think we should, mate. Right then, off she comes. Now, um, I've ordered the ESC. You don't get that with a kit. Right. But there is some stuff that's really good. There's some great goodies in this box, Rob. Cool. As you can see. So we've got the tyre foams. Yeah. Always much Always better good, to have yeah. those fitted. We've actually got a proper cockpit. Tidy. And as I say, if you buy that on its own, it's a few quid, so... It is, that about is 20 quid at the minute. 20 plus, I think, mate, yeah? Yeah. So that's provided with the kit. Now, this is um, classed as an on-road Tammy Rob, so it's yeah. got these on-road tyres. I know. And for all you fans out there, you just know what I'm going to do. Oh, they are particularly nice, though. I'll tell you what, Rob, those are lovely and soft. But yeah, so you don't get rally blocks. I might be converting it to rally blocks, I don't know, um, but we will try it on road too. So anyway, lovely set of chrome wow. wheels, dude. Very nice. Yeah. I'm worried about bashing those up. There you yes. go. And okay. here's a bit of a clue as to what's coming. So yeah. there's your windows, they're smoked. As you can see, they're hard because it's a hard body. Look at that, dude. Super Let's duper. See the detail on that. I'm gonna have front yeah. painting that, and I. Yeah. So yeah, that is beautiful. Um, I've got some white paint to, uh, just coat that in and then we'll be doing the stickers. We'll have a look at those in a bit. Okay, so we've got, uh, looks like the diff parts, Rob. Yeah. Um, you've got your shop mates. So Lovely, metallic Kind grade. of metallic, they are, yeah. Yeah. And look like your wheel uprights and steering parts. Then we've got some body posts. These look like uh, the wishbone parts or yeah. bay arms. Um, in that nice, flexible, sort of uh, bendy plastic. Better for breakages or not breakages, yeah. I should say. We've got some extra body parts, I think these are for the lights, aren't they? Yeah. That might be for the wings at the back, I'm not sure. Okay, I've got more of that uh, metallic plastic. Yeah. Again, looks like the diff cases, motor mount, and that's definitely for the, the rear diff and the motor goes in there, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right. More soft black plastic, got the bumper, that's a short bumper, and I think, guys, when you see it, there's a big bumper coming. They're in half. And here it is, look at the size of that, dude. It's quite ugly, isn't it? It is really. But the idea is, mate. Yeah. It kind of goes under there, uh, just to protect. Because if you yeah. run into anything with this, oh, yeah. it's just going to shatter, isn't it? Yeah. So I probably will be running it with that one, mate. Yes, um, I know. Certainly on the dirt, anyway. Maybe I might give a slow run yes. without it on the tarmac. But hey, there you go. So there's your massive bumper, and here's your short. TAO2 chassis. You see, yeah, the, the original one's about, yeah. I think it's about 20 mil longer. It's quite a bit longer anyway, but there's your battery. I think your servo goes at the front there with your radio gear. Very short little chassis. But again, it's rather uh, rigid, this is, so it should be good off-road. 
We've got some extra parts for the body there. You've got the mirrors. Oh, yeah. We've got separate windscreen wipers. Mate, there's a lot of detail there in this is. kit. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And then these look like the other wishbones. So, yeah, full double wishbone suspension, guys, front yeah. and rear. Chromey bits. Oh, yeah. So, we've got the chrome headlights and the spotlights, and then you've got the light lenses. You've got your driver's helmets. And let's get into the parts Ooh. bag, Rob. Wow. <laughs> That's a big bag. It's a big bag indeed. Right, I'm not going to get all the bits out of the bags, we'll be here forever, but uh, let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, and I bought some bearings. Doesn't come cool. in all bearings, guys. She's I think there are some these. bearings in here, I'm not sure there's mm, a lot of bushings. Of the bushes. Um, yeah, that bar's for the front suspension, I think, or maybe the rear. You've got metal um, output cups for the uh, drive shafts or the dog bones. We've got a CVA shocks i think these are minis not the super minis by yeah. the look of it so yeah we've got oil shocks all around guys pretty standard uh marbucci stock motor i'm afraid i might be hopping that up dude yeah do it too right mate you've got your differentials and as you can see there can you see the holes in that rob yes those are for balls so it is a bull diff on the rear and it's a gear diff on the front don't ask me why oh, yeah it's definitely bull diff on the rear so <laughs> there's your drive shaft the prop shaft, that metal coat hanger thing. I might have a hop up for this, you know, Rob. I was going to say that looks the same. Years ago, uh, yes. The original TAO twos we had. It's shorter though, isn't it? Because well, it's shorter, shorter yeah. Shorter. Um, but yes, so that's bag D. Uh, screws, got some bolts. And as you say, the prop shaft. And bag A, we've got grease spanners. We've got that's your metal dog bone, Rob. Can you see? Yeah. And. Yeah, lots of other, there's the parts for the ball diff, uh, the thrust plates and so on. And then you've got your bevel gears for the front diff. The uh, Velcro for attaching the cockpit, and more screws and R, R pins. And there's your bag for your shocks, so you've got your four springs, your soft oil, is that or no, medium oil? Medium soft and, oil. Sorry, no, there's the diff, I don't know what was the uh, bevel gears in the other one. Ah, must be for the prop shaft. Yes. Okay, and then you've got the uh, shock adjustment parts, uh, the different clips and the, the shock bottoms and so on. Whoa! Whoa. There's Pete while he's wibbly wobbly. And oh, Rob, Whoa. I'm not looking forward to doing these. No. Um, there's not that many. I thought there might be more, actually, but it's obviously yeah. these longer martini stripes are going to be the ones that are going to cause a pain. But so, do you know what? I'm actually going to look forward to that. Yes. First of all, your lovely 037 Rally manual. Look at that, that's cool. They don't normally do yeah, that, do they? No. Very nice. And again, beautifully laid out and really easy to follow. So hopefully you'll be seeing a bit more of this if you follow me on the build guide with it, yeah. Rob. Okay, then Rob, I think there's quite a comprehensive kit, isn't it? There's lots of good is, stuff. Yeah. The only thing is, for the, oh, it's about 200 quid, this kit. The thing I'm really disappointed about is they don't come with ball bearings. Yeah. I mean, every all the other goodness that's in here, you know, ball yeah. diffs and oil shocks, lots of uh, decent parts in here. But anyway, uh, cost me ten pound, I think, Rob, <laughs> for the for the uh, ball bearings. So this will all be going together rather soon, and I hope that you join me. Thanks for following along with this video, and see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. Right, so thrashed everything. 300 litre, 300 litre, 300 horsepower, 2 litres. Yeah, well now, I did have trouble finding these in stock, you know, Rob. I bet. Not many of them around. So snap them up while you can because yeah. it's a fantastic kit and it's not a CTO2. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> That's the kind of thing I'm going to say. Um, I won't be able to remember all that, but I might actually even pick it up, Rob. Yeah, well. Are you recording? Do what you want here. Yeah, I've been recording for most of that. And that's because, Rob. Why? Have I said hello to you already? Yes. <laughs> right, you don't want to go there, you don't want to go down the M11.